Good afternoon. The first item of business is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Reverend David J. Nixon, Associate Pastor, Carrubbers Christian Centre. Presiding Officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to share a reflection with you. For 140 years, Carrubbers Church has stood halfway up the Royal Mile. Still today, our mission remains the same, to see lives transformed by the good news of Jesus Christ. A few weeks ago, our city bore witness to the funeral procession of Queen Elizabeth II. It was a solemn moment standing at, at our church doors watching as the coffin drove past, followed by King Charles III on foot. Over the following days, thousands of people formed the phenomenon known as the queue. Thousands of people queued for miles overnight just for a few moments to pay their respects. In interviews, many testified to just feeling magnetically drawn to join the queue. It almost seems that people felt the, the need to be lifted out of the ordinary daily grind and to become part of a historic national event. One journalist reflected, the queue wasn't just about grief, but about our deep need to be part of something bigger. And that's because deep in the human heart and the human psyche, we have this longing to be a part of a bigger story, to be part of something more than working nine to five and living for the holidays. The Queen was a Christian. She regularly testified in her Christmas messages that she believed that her life was part of God's bigger story, that she served a higher king, Jesus Christ, the Son of God and King of Kings. Now, often people ask me if this world is truly God's story, then why is it more a horror story than a happy story? And the Bible says it's because God's creatures have stolen the divine pen, seeking to author our own stories and destinies instead. And in the process, we have left a mess across the pages of human history. Nevertheless, God has looked down upon our chaos and confusion, our misery and meanlessness, the injustice and the inhumanity. And because he loves us, he just couldn't remain at a comfortable distance from it. Instead, Jesus has written himself into the story of this world. He's become one of us. He suffered among us. He's died on the cross for us in our sins. He's risen again from the dead, showing that evil does not have to have the last word on any of our lives. That's why the Bible promises, for God so loved the world that he gave us his son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. This winter, as we face many challenges and anxieties, it is my prayer that many will find fresh hope and help in the true story of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Nixon. Thank you.